Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Well, it's kind of a rainy day today, so it was a work day for me. It is Friday, and so after I was done with work today, I did something I tend to do on rainy afternoons, and that is to go by the thrift stores. So I hit actually I hit one yesterday, and I hit one today, and uh, picked up a couple things, and I also went by Harbor Freight and got some stuff there so we're going to cover about three things here so what you're looking at here is one of my thrift store purchases this is a Panasonic Let's see if we can zoom in a little on this clock radio obviously and the model number is don't know exactly Anyway, it's on the back somewhere, but anyway, I got this thing. I don't normally buy these clocks anymore because they're pretty common and I like to find flip clocks if I can find them. But I thought I would buy this one because it's kind of unusual. It's called a big bell, and if you see those two things on the side over there, those are actual metal bells, and this thing has dual alarms on it, so you can set one or both of the alarms to ring with those bells, and it's supposed to sound just like a old-fashioned alarm clock so I, I don't know if it will or not but it seems to work good it doesn't have the brightest display ever but I've set one alarm to go off at 12 15 a.m. so we've got about a minute a little more than a minute and then that one will sound and then I've set the one after that to go off at 12 16 a.m. it's not that's not the current time it's about seven or something like that so anyway we'll see what happens when this thing goes off it was five dollars and 99 cents at the goodwill so a little more than i like to pay for clock radios but oh yeah why not uh could be wasting it on a pack of cigarettes which i don't smoke so uh, i tell you one thing i know the goodwills in tennessee seem to be a lot more well stocked with things than the ones in alabama the ones in alabama tend to suck but these up here I like them. I've been to several. It's not good for me because I start buying things, I guess. But uh, I also got a printer, and I've got one I got already that didn't work right. I'll show you that one if you want to see it. But I got another newer one. We're going to try that one too. See how it works, if it works. So we're counting down here. Is that not wacky or what? <laughs> oh, those folks at Panasonic, they just think of everything, don't they? <laughs> I like it. I think I'm going to start using that one as my regular clock. If that won't wake me up, nothing will. And then it should have an, an annoying electronic buzzer on the next one. So I know there's people on YouTube that just love buzzers. I can't say I'm a big fan of them either way, but hey, whatever. So we'll see how it sounds here in just a few. So I've got an alarm clock now I've been using. I bought new about 16 or 17 years. You ready? It's okay then. That works. And I'm going to see if the radio part of this thing works. Uh, it works, but uh, I better not play that. This thing's got a little button on it called monitor. So, you press it, just kind of. Okay, I guess that's the, I guess that's the big bell readiness monitor testing button. I don't know. Sounds good to me. 
All right then guys, well, we're gonna scoot him over into the background and we're gonna bring our next item out. Okay then, so I thought what we would do in this one is we would just look at my Harbor Freight purchases. Uh, I don't go to Harbor Freight as much as you would think I go. I go, I don't know, stop by there maybe every couple, three months or so. But I get where I need some, you know, cheap, handy tools that I never knew I needed before I went there. No, actually, uh, I, I normally, when I go, I normally have a, like a little list, like a mental list or something of things that uh, I know I, I want to pick up. So this time around, I've just got some things to help me in the shop out there. I'll tell you why I got them. The thing is I got a set of these detailed brushes. These are the ones that got the steel and the brass and the plastic brushes of two different sizes. I use the heck out of these things all the time. Brass is good if you don't need to, you don't want to scratch something. But the weird thing is they're $1.99 for this six pack. And then I had a three pack of these down here. The small ones, $1.99. And you know there's going to be somebody that's going to buy those three smaller ones. I just want the small ones. I don't need those big ones. Well, you may not need them, but it's a better deal, dude. Whatever. So anyway, that and got a five-piece scissors set. Uh, and that is because that I've got a pair of old pair of scissors that don't work that good, but they're kind of nostalgic because they were my mother's. And then I've got a small set like this that work good, but. I, I'm supposed to keep those in the car because I use them to cut zip ties and stuff with. So anyway, I need scissors. I got scissors. There we go. Speaking of the ties, I love these things. I go through a lot of them. And so I bought these. They're like $1.59 for a 100-piece set of the white ones and the black ones. That's the town crier clock back there. And then I picked up, this is a storehouse brand, 555 piece cotter pin assortment. I'm always needing cotter pins and I always have to go buy one of those rip off small packs at the parts store, which is a rip off. It's a rip off. Check that out, boy. You ain't ever gonna use those up, will I? Got a box of replacement scraper blades got this guy this is this is one of these that goes from just one cable into three and I discovered I needed one of these because I was always having something plugged in like charge my battery pack or something out there in the shop in the garage out there and then need to use an outlet for something else and I didn't have an outlet free so I had to unplug the first thing you know so now I got three in one 30 amp service, so I'm sure it'll okay. Then I guess saw somebody do this on the internet, so I stole their idea. I got one of these micro torches, these little butane torches. I'm going to use this to solder with because I've got one of these electric soldering irons. But uh, if that thing is, if there's any wind at all blowing out there, I never get that thing to heat up enough. So we're doing it this way from now on. And kind of in line with that, I treated myself to a heat gun, just plain Jane old heat gun because I'm going to use this for shrink wrap and things like that because like I said, the days of twisting wires together or putting on some of those little butt terminals together are behind me. So we're not doing that anymore. So there you go guys, this is my cheap Harbor Freight. Uh, tool haul. Now there's a few other things I want to pick up but I've been holding off. I don't want to buy those from Harbor Freight. I want to like picks and things like that and sockets and stuff. I'm, what I try to do on in that case is I try to look on eBay and you can find some used tools that are good quality much better than what you get there. Uh, for a decent price I've bought things like uh, impact sockets and uh, some other things like that. Uh, I think I got a fire kit and things like that. There were good used stuff made, you know, quality made stuff. So, all right, guys. So we're about to do the last thing, which is going to be a uh, <laughs> the thing just randomly dings. 
There's bells ringing all over the place in here. So anyway, this is next thing. Last thing is going to be, uh, is it a new in the box? I picked up something from the thrift store, the Goodwill, and I think it's new in the box. I'm not sure. Hang on. Alrighty then. So this is my, is it a new in the box or not? Find from the Goodwill. And this is an HP 1056, one of these little desk jet three in one it prints, scans and copies and I primarily wanted one of these things uh, well I needed a copier because I have to do weekly itineraries and I have to make copies of it so till now I've had to get in my vehicle and go down to Staples and have copies made or go buy, go buy a Staples when I'm out which when I want to go home I'm not really in the mood and run by and do stuff like that but be that as it may. So I was looking for one of these and normally you find stuff like these copiers. You find them just laying on the shelf like that one over there. That one, which kind of works, kind of does it. I think it was look good. I don't know. So anyway, I thought we would look at this thing and see if it is actually new in the box because it was $9.99. And these things are normally about $140 for one of these. Now, I already have a scanner and I already have a printer. So if this thing works, I guess I'll donate those to maybe my brother who will never use them, but makes me feel better to give them to him. So instead of just getting rid of them, we'll see. Let's cut it open. Let's see what it looks like. Now, then, let me say that I look this thing over carefully. And it is taped up. And it does not look like there's ever been any evidence of this tape being off and retaped. Normally it rips the printing on the box, but it is totally taped up. So we're going to cut the seal on this thing. Let's see what we got. What's men's fascination with knives? You wouldn't believe people see me use this knife and they'll ask me what kind it is. Where did I get it? Do I want to trade it? Do I want to sell it? Well, it's a K-Bar. And no, I don't. And no, I don't. So. All right. Looks like we got some paperwork. In several different languages. Packed box. Oops. Got our uh, program software. Oh, we got cleaning cartridges. A 562W tricolor, tricolor, and a black. Uh -huh. And we got. Looks like, ooh. Some stuck to me there. <laughs> we have an adapter. We have a power cord. And we got the unit. Check out this unit. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? Check out this printer. This thing is it's been in there so long, it's got dust all over it. Can you see that? Okay, well, it is wrapped up in the packaging still got the plastic on it it has not been untaped I'm gonna call it guys I'm gonna call this new in the box legit right here right now so I have been burned at the thrift store 
a few different times but I have made some scores so I will enter this into the score category and say that I just got a hundred and forty something dollar printer which that's new of course for ten bucks new in a box so now then without going into a big sermon and have some jackass complain about me talking too much uh, I'm just going to tell you my method about going to the thrift store and how I look for things and I'm going to make it concise I'm slow I'm methodical I pick things up I look under them I look on the bottom you would not believe how many things I see looking down I don't look up I look down because most people do not look down they look up and around look at other people I ignore other people when I'm in there the only time I look at another person when I'm in a thrift store is when somebody needs to get past me or I'm checking out otherwise I don't care about any other person I don't mean that meanly but that's just the way I see it I don't I'm not there about them I'm there for me I'm there looking for my things and I take my cell phone with me my smartphone with me so when I see something that I think's rare or a deal I whip out my phone and I stand right there and what I do is I get the thing out where I have it like that box I have my hand on that box so it's in my possession because I'm not the only person that's uh, you know can notice things like that so what if I put that thing back and walked away and came back and it's gone how about that so anyway I get the thing in my possession and I look it up on my cell phone to see if it's something that's worth it or whatever and you know then I can make a decision that yes it's worth it I'm going to keep possession of it and go check out at some point or no it's not worth it I'm going to put it back and anybody else can have it so I never I never usually never ever second guess myself when I'm buying stuff like this you know so like I said I just got screwed on that printer over there yeah, it was only four dollars and ninety-eight cents. It's one of those Epson wireless XP or EX three hundred and ten, something like that. It does come on work and it does do its deal, but uh, it doesn't bring anything. I'm hoping that it's got ink in it. I'm hoping that it would not change off of photo paper when you change the paper type. So I'm thinking that that's probably what's keeping it from printing. So anyway. But you know, pay it forward. So I'm going to donate. If this thing's new, which it appears to be, I'm going to pay it forward. I'm going to give my scanner to somebody. I'm going to give my printer to somebody. And call it good. Oh, yeah. One last thing. A few of you guys have asked about Uncle Phil. I just talked to Uncle Phil on the phone. He's doing well. He's still plugging along, working on his Plymouth. And it's just one of those deals where, you know, Uncle Phil has not asked me to come up and help him, so I don't interfere. So thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, stay safe, stay dry, and we will see you on another video. Later.